Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5 on Feed the Beast. Yes, we're on 2.5. I am so excited. We got so much to do. I don't have time to talk right now. So let's get going, dude. I I get excited here. All right, we are as I said last time we were going to build a mob farm. We we're putting that on hold. I want to automate this completely making all the ores and yeah, you've seen new stuff here. This is the lava, just like we did in the uh, second or third episode. I built one over there last time, and now I got one here. And this, I'm going to try to make this little island self-sufficient. So that way, everything we need is going to be right here. So hopefully that'll help with the lag. I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, first thing we're going to do is in the achievement book, one of the things we need to do is make lava, I mean obsidian, out of an oak barrel. So we're going to do that. But before I do, let me go ahead and throw these this in there because we're going to need it and get that going let's turn that off that way it doesn't do it automatically and to make an oak barrel all we need is basically some stone why did I take that out for that wasn't too good take out some stone six stones and a slab and we got our stone barrel and we got our water to help make it and you will not believe how simple this is we're just going to put our stone barrel right there we're going to put our water, not in the stone barrel, because that won't work. We have to put it above it, and it will not fill it in. The only time the barrel will fill with water is if it rains, and it will fill up with water at that point. So you got to make sure either you get it covered or keep it something in it. I'm right, going to right-click here, put it in there, and right-click again. We have obsidian. It is really that simple, and I need four pieces. And we need one more. And we're going to put one in here. That way, if it does rain, it will not fill it up. And now you see if our lead is all set. It is all set. We're going to make hardened glass next. So we're going to put that in there and get it going. We're going to make four of these real quick. And do you, all you do is put the obsidian there, mix it with a little lead. And each lead will do two obsidians. So that's why we put two lead in there for four obsidian, which will make four hardened glass. The reason we're doing the four hardened glass is that because we need uh, to make hardened fluid duct to help carry the lava. All right, we got one more, and I'll be right back. All right, we have the four um, hardened glass that will help us make our our hardened fluid duct, I believe it is. And we can do that first. The hardened fluid duct. Actually, we got to we got to mix something else. Um, I need. We haven't done this on camera. I'll make sure you know. Invar. Invar is basically one piece of ferrous or nickel, same thing, and two pieces of iron. And again, I got that all gone so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there now when these combine remember I'm turned off over here so it will not automatically come out so when they combine then I'll make invar so let's go ahead and say we already got it made so it has some invar in here one two three and we'll use that and we'll mix this with here now we got our invar and to make the hardened glass it's just like I mean sorry what am I doing wrong oh I remember okay one here there there we go this makes our hardened fluid duct which is cool and now we need servos also let's go ahead and show you the recipe of the servos because I can't remember <laughs> sorry servo and there we go now if you don't know how to make um, nuggets just put a block in there and it'll make nine of them for you so that's how you make your nuggets we're going to put our glass here, redstone. We're making two sets of these things. Each one comes with two, so that should give us four. Okay, we're going to put that here, here. Take this out of the way because we don't need it. Take this out of the way, we don't need it. And we're going to take these things and we're going to hit shift and then right click. And you know that nothing's coming out because we don't have our servos on them. So we're going to right click, right click, right click, and right click. Nothing's still coming out because we need to now right click again and turn off the redstone. Hit escape after you get it done. And now we have lava flowing through these things. All right, everything's bright red now. And I am going to go ahead and we are going to automate two things real quick. Dot, dot, dot. There's the lava going down. We're going to automate the Tinker's Construct smeltery. If you look in there now, it's not full. And we're also going to automate this thing right here. So let me take my elevator down to the basement level. I think you'll enjoy my elevator going down. And we'll come over here, and we'll take one here, 
one here, here, whoops, yeah, there. And then we need to break this one because that's where the tank is. And the water should stop because of the pipe here, so be careful. <laughs> and one here. So now if you look at the smeltery controller, it is full of, flu of uh, lava, so we don't have to fill that up anymore. All right, I gotta take my elevator back up. Going up, going up. Okay, and now we can make lava just instantly, just like that. I mean, not lava, obsidian, excuse me. It fills with lava automatically. All right, spoilers here, we'll get to that in a little while. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a generator, that's what that block was for. Um, we're gonna make two lava generators to help start powering everything. So I got that, let's go ahead and show you the recipe. There we go. So we got our two furnaces, we got two blocks, and cover it with gold because we're making two sets of them and our redstone. And that'll give us two lava generators. We're gonna put one here and one here. And now it's filling up with oops, I need to put one there. There we go. It's filling up with lava, it'll start making power. There it goes. This one's already probably got some red. Yep. We are now making power. We are in the power age. We are in the power age. Da, da, da. All right, we need leadstone pipe now. Leadstone pipe, if I remember right, is just really, really simple. Um, actually, it's here, here. We're gonna make four sets of this stuff because we're gonna need a lot of it. And that makes the leadstone flux duct. There you go, leadstone flux duct. All right, the machines that we're going to do to help crush our ores, our cobblestone and sieve our ores, we're going to use two different mod packs. I don't like um, the sieve in the, I'll show you which one, condensed, condensum, hold on, I always can't say that one, E, X, space, C, compression, the compression mod. I don't really care much for the compression mod um, sieve, I need two pressure plates. But the, the hammer, I like the hammer, because the hammer, you don't have to replace it. Once you put it in there, it's there. Um, my old way, I used to have, uh, let's see, auto, the automatic thing, I can't think it was. But you had to keep replacing the hammer. So this one you don't, and it's just as quick. So I like this auto hammer. So that's really cool. All right, we're also going to use the auto compressor, and it's really that simple. Um, it, this isn't really that hard. Um, or that expensive if you have tinker's constructs it's, you know it's just a block of iron and some more it's not much oh i should have made that first all right i have another crafting table over here Ooh, i almost took the elevator down need four of these bad boys there we go let's not take the elevator down now we have our auto compressor and what is next i don't know why i have to face this way uh, next thing we're going to make is, uh, what are we going to make with that stuff? I can't remember. Oh, our sieve. Um, our auto sieve is out of the original. Everyone, let's go ahead and look at that one real quick. S-I-E-V. There you go. It's the auto sieve. Let's get that out of the way. It's not a hard recipe. It's, I'm glad Tinker, we're not having to pour this. and We're able just to make this, so that's not too bad. But we also need... Is it, I forgot what the name of that metal is. Let's go ahead and look back at it. Duh, it's the right one here. Electrum. An electrum is basically silver and gold. So like we got our invar here, let's go ahead and get that out of there because it's still in there. We are going to put silver and gold, and that will make that electrum. Is that what I said? Yeah, electrum, which I happen to have already over here. So let's go ahead and get that out. We need four of them. And that's off. So just let those mix up. That way they make more electrum. And let's see, what was our recipe here? Oh, we're doing the gear, which is just like this with iron in the middle. Put the gear there. Put our silk mesh there. Put our invar, which we showed you earlier how to make. And invar nuggets. And we got that. I'm sure everyone knows how to make the nuggets, but just in case. I don't know if I already talked this, but it's just like that. You just put it and you get your nuggets out. So you're all set and ready to go. 
All right, so what do we need next? We need some more transfer nodes. And let's see if I can remember the recipe for a transfer node. Nope, I don't. <laughs> oh, it's worth a shot. Transfer node. There we go. That there, that there. Oh, I did have it right earlier. Oh, well. I just didn't see it. All right, we also need some more transfer pipes. So I'm using aluminum because it's, uh, it's, I don't use aluminum much, so I'm going to go ahead and use it here. We're going to make three sets of that. So now we have some more transfer pipe plus that one. And the last thing we're going to make is the same pattern as this. This is a sorting pipe. But instead of redstone, we're going to put gold in the middle. That should give us two. There we go. And I believe I have everything set up and ready to go to where it should be laid out. So just try this first. I want to go ahead and put a power here. That way I can put my sieve on it and stuff. All right, here's the auto hammer, which is really cool. Again, you don't have to replace the hammers. And then you got your auto sieve. Now, I don't like their sieve. Um, inside here, you, got a, you can put speed boost and you can put um, fortune boost. And the auto one, and the, the one that comes from the Compressum, you have to get an enchant, enchanted book with both those in it. And then when you put it in there, if you have something that automatically pulls material out of it, it's pulling the book out, so there's a little glitch in it, and yeah, it messes everything up. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this here. That'll automatically pull that down. And then I'll put my sorting pipe right underneath it. So I can have things go in there if I want. And then we're going to have this here and need a regular transfer pipe right here so basically it's going from here to here and then to here and it may be coming out of sorting and then we're going to put it here this thing so underneath we'll wire it from here to here and then into here okay and I'll show you how to do that down below now we need to get the cobblestone over here and let's go ahead and put one here one here we got that and let's break this and I'm not going to connect it yet I'm going to wait till we're all set and ready to go um, I got my power going down yet nope nope need to put my power down so we're going to take one there and bring it up here Need one more. I got my power down, my lava going down, I got my items going down, I got the upper wiring done here, I think. Alright, it's time to take the elevator down. Yeah, there's 15 things we're actually doing today. 15 separate kind of things. Alright, let's go ahead, since we're right here, we'll go ahead and take the items. There we go. And I'm going to bring it in right here. Because now my cobblestone generator will feed cobblestone to my hammer. My hammer will hammer it and it will sieve cobblestone I mean gravel. The sorting pipe will sort the things that can't go into Tinker's Construct like flint, um, diamonds, and that kind of stuff. So it will sort it into there. And then we're going to pull this over one and over here. So then we're going to go into this thing here. So now the, the products will come into here go into the compressor and we need to take one of these and pull it out you see I want to break this one here I think we're going to take that now we'll pull it out and it will put it right into Tinker's Construct my chest will pull it out put it in Tinker's Construct so I believe I have all the items set and ready to go now we need to get the power to it and the power I want to come here here and we're just going to go straight across. So now we should have power going to these things. And another little trick, let's take a stick. I'm hitting shift too the whole time I'm here. Go. I'm so paranoid I'm going to fall. Oh, I need power to this thing too. So we need to bring that over. We need power for this thing. 
and I don't have enough power. Ah. I need one more. Ah, dog nabbit. All right, let me go upstairs and make one more, and I'll be right back. All right, my last power now. We are all set there. Now I'm going to take a stick. And when items are coming, I think they have to check to make sure they get sorted in every place. And I think this helps out a little bit. If you just right-click on it, it will turn that off. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And just keep right-clicking. And like this one, I don't think it will work. See, it just completely shuts it down. So let's clean that up a little bit. Let's see if I can do this one. Yep, there we go. All right, am I done? A few more. There we go. See, it makes it a lot cleaner too. All right, let me take the elevator back up and we'll see how it all works. Okay, I believe we have everything all set and ready to go. Just go ahead and put this one more thing here. That will pull the cobblestone out, pull it underneath here, pull it right back into here. We should see cobblestone starting to come into here. Uh, there it goes, cobblestones in here it is starting the hammer, and now we'll go into the sieve here, and that is wonderful. All right, now we got a few more quick things to do. One, I want to upgrade this, do the speed upgrades for it. Two, we want to make this lava more exciting. Right now, if you hover over, it, it is one times, uh, actually two times. We're going to make it seven times. Whoops, wrong button. To make it seven times, wrong thing. We need to make a, I believe, a sag mill. And this is what we need for our sag mill. And I'll go ahead and show you the recipe. Oops, space mill. There you go. Sag mill. This is our recipe. Um, real quick, real simple. A piston. Let's see, I need some wood. And I always get mixed up. I don't know why which is top and which is bottom cobblestone. There we go. Got my piston. And then we need a machine block or whatever, a machine chassis. Okay. And a, ch a capacitor. Basic capacitor. So we got our gold nuggets. Got our copper. And our redstone. We got our capacitor. And then we also need some iron bars. And I think that's it. There we go. Iron bar, iron bar, iron bar, iron bar. Capacitor. Don't need those anymore. And one, two, three, four. We have our machine chassis. Don't need that one. And sorry, I messed up there. Question mark. So we should have everything we need now. Machine chassis, flint, and our iron. And we're all set. Now we have our sag mill. Let's go ahead and put that. There's power running right here. So we'll put it right here. And we're going to take some coal and we're going to throw some coal in there because coal gives, like it has a 10% chance of giving what we need. What do we need? I haven't even talked about that. We're going to need redstone. We're going to need sulfur. We're going to need blaze powder to do this. The upgrade. Plus, it would all, it's going to upgrade this, one of them. And it's also going to speed up this. So we got a lot to do with this. Now, I need 10 of these all together. And this gives us a 10% chance, whenever you polarize the coal, of getting sulfur. So hopefully we'll get 7 of them out of here. And we also need 10 of these things, or 11 of these things. So let me let this go real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, here's the recipe that we need. This is the one for the fortune. And then when we get the pyrothion dust, or whatever it is, we'll put the, instead of a diamond, we'll put it right there. So we got two fortune. We'll go ahead and stick that in there. Wrong one into the sieve. And now we got that. That'll give us more chance of getting stuff. Oh, I haven't showed you how to sort this stuff yet. Um, we don't need that here. We need that here. We're gonna put that in there. We're gonna take the, that out. All right. So now, whenever uh, flint comes through, it'll automatically get put in here instead of here. So. What we're going to get is we're going to get flint, we're going to get coal, diamonds, and emeralds. And we need to put them in this chest, that way it knows how to sort them out. So we'll see how that goes. Now that we have the fortune on there, we should be able to get more good, more good stuff, more stuff. We'll keep checking that. 
And let's see how our sulfur is coming. It's coming good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, I'm still waiting for that sulfur to come. Uh, we're getting there. But while we wait, I also need a barrel. So just go over this one over here because I don't have anything in that yet. We're going to go to a barrel and we're going to make a one of these, not two. A crucible, a cauldron, excuse me, a cauldron. Then we need two of these, two pressure plates. One there, one there. And this is to make a barrel for we can store our stuff. So we'll use that in just a few minutes. We've got a barrel. Let's see how our sulfur's coming. Uh, not good. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I finally got everything I needed. The 11 sulfur. How much of a... Almost a stack and a quarter to get that. Took me a while. All right, so the recipe. Actually, we need one of these things for here. So let's go over here real quick and do it. All right, we need 11 here, 11 here. Doesn't matter, I got 15 and 11 here. That'll give us 22 of these things. We're gonna take one of these things and put it in our crafting table to give us a speed upgrade to them, actually. So we're gonna put that in this bad boy here. So now it'll actually go faster and our fortune's going. And now we need to take the rest of it, except one, and put it in here. I'm going to feed it this way too. And as soon as that gets all smelted, we will have um, blazing pyrothium, pyrothium. And I am going to put that in a barrel here. Just going to take this out. That's why we made the barrel a minute ago. Where'd my barrel go? There it is. Whoops. There we go. And that will automatically feed into my barrel, and then I can use that here. So we should get, I think, two bucketfuls, and I'm going to put one here and one here. You cannot put it here because it is so hot, it will turn the cobblestone to stone, and it will turn that water over there. It will dry it up. I think it will actually turn it to stone, too. So this can be it, this can be it, this can be it, but you can't have the hot stuff right here because it will mess everything up. And that will get everything going to seven times instead of two times faster. You see how we're going. This takes a few minutes to get going, so give me just a minute and I'll be right back. All right, um, let's get back here. This test takes a while to smelt down. I got a lot of them in there, and it's in the, the barrel right now, so we can go ahead and take, I think, one barrel out. And let's go ahead and come over here, and I'll put it right here. I can put it right on top of the lava. And right now you notice it's going at two times down the bottom right of the corner. Now if we click on it, and you click on it now, it shows that it's going at seven times. So it speeds it up. Now I'm gonna put one here, not here, but it'll go from seven, I think, to five or something like that, or six, as it moves away, so it goes a little bit quicker. I'm taking these out until I get this smelted up. I'm not gonna let it do any of these for a few minutes. So is that double? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back as soon as, it's, <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. I'll be right back. All right, it finally stopped smelting. We All 10 of those makes two buckets, so this should turn white. Yep, there it goes. I am going to put a block right here. Just put a cobblestone block, not a gold block. And we'll replace it in just a minute. We're going to put this stuff right here. Now we're going to break it. See, it, it's so hot, it turns cobblestone to stone. And now that should go. Now we go from 7 to 5. So which is a lot better than two. We are running so low on power right now. You, whoops, you can go here. You can see, I mean lava, you can see this is, is struggling. Even the pipes are I barely got it. This will take care of it. I believe this will be enough to keep it up and going. So far we have gotten some good stuff smelted. Just go ahead and put this in here. And we are getting our ores up now. All right, my friends, I believe that ends today's episode. Um, if you have any questions, I hope I explained it well enough. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you saw something new or if you liked my episode, please give me a thumbs up. It helps spread the word. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on the subscribe button. All right, it's been great. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been good. All right, y'all have a great day. Bye, guys.